guys, John from One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sneaker review and unboxing of the New Balance 580s. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of the latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown our way, and I just want to take this time an opportunity to thank the subscribers new and old without you guys we can't do this so thank you let's go and today we've got a sneaker review of the new balance 580 we got these in the uk size 41 oh no it's not so uk seven and a half european 41 and a half and it's us eight and here they are a cult classic if i say so myself Because most people, you know, they go for the New Balance 990 series, 574s, but this, it's very unique. Look at the shape it, and the color even, you know, it's gonna turn heads. Even though there's, it takes a lot for people to turn heads when it comes to sneakers nowadays, but back in the day, you know, these were the first thing people looked at when you put them on your feet, obviously. So we'll get into all the details and what makes the sneaker so great in a moment but we'll start with all the details and we'll start with the outsole. So this is an all rubber outsole, you can see all that traction patterning there, got a New Balance logo just underneath and at the heel you can see the roll ball, oh forgive me, the roll bar support system that is there and you can kind of faintly, well you can see it's essentially that shank plate right there in the blue and black. So moving on onto the midsole and you've got two sets of technology found in this midsole. You've got roll bar, which essentially is a shank plate, there for the st stability for your heels. Well, it's gonna add to the stability for your heels. And essentially this foam that makes all around is the absorb technology from New Balance. They use it for a whole range of their sneakers. You'll find it in the nine, the New Balance 990 series, which is probably the most uh, iconic ones, and tons of their other ones as well. And that's there to absorb the impact and obviously make it more of a cushion ride for when you walk, run, whatever you do in these sneakers. So this upper, it looks kind of chunky. So if you look at the size, and the shape uh, is very well padded. It's like a 574. I guess that is why it falls in the five, the five category. And the color is really cool in my opinion. It's got the earth tones in this brown and green. It's very tree-like. And so you got the suede overlays, which is actually the brown parts of the sneaker. It's a premium suede. New buck there. Forgive me, it's not suede, it is a new buck. And mesh on the underlay, so you can see it in the green. Obviously all here, synthetic materials. Heavily padded tongue, and you got the New Balance 580 logo, logo, sorry. And it's made out of rubber. Flat laces, I don't think these came, come, sorry. With, uh, no, they don't. They've, you already get this uh, brown pair of flat laces. The New Balance, and iconic, find on both sides, the medial and the lateral side, right there. And it's very well padded around the ankles. That's great there for his comfort and support. And on the inner, you've got the New Balance running logo that's right inside, foam, insole as well. What more do you want? And did I mention the back? No, I have not. So we'll go into the back, so in the heel, you got suede panels here and there. Well, it's New Buck, really. And the New Balance lettering that is stitched right there. Now, why these are quite significant uh, for New Balance, this is like one of the sneakers that was adopted in Harajuku fashion. For those that don't know, Harajuku is a part of Tokyo where essentially I'm 
gotta say it, this is where trends happen. All the most trendy, fashionable people are spotted in Harajuku. All the best stores as well are found in Harajuku. Uh, if you ever want to go to Tokyo, I suggest uh, hitting up Harajuku to see the life. You can just look at everyone's uh, fits and just rate them. There's got to be 10 out of 10s, uh, in, my opinion, uh, in my opinion. And yeah, this is one of those sneakers that uh, loads of people in Harajuku wore in the 90s. And it, it continues, you know, New Balance still is a uh, very sought after brand. Loads of people are wearing New Balance sneakers. And hopefully, you know, we, we see more people wearing the 580s, which is, uh, in my opinion, a severely underrated silhouette from New Balance. All that said, I can't wait to try these on. So roll that footage of me trying these 580s on. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true New Balance fit. I am a seven and a half, and these fit perfect. They look dope on as well. Those wondering what trousers I'm wearing, I'm wearing a pair of Dickies 874 work pants. And yo, I mean, this has that high cut vibe to me. Um, very nice colorway as well, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below and I'm going to give you the 360. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at 1UP Reviews on Instagram and on TikTok. Until next time, peace.